Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1054. And if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to add with two criteria, but we have a particular uh, strange situation for our criteria in this column. As we copy the formula down, well, the first criteria is easy. We're listing product one, product two, product three, and then repeating product one, product two, product three. So our sum ifs function can just use a relative reference. But what if we're going to copy down here? We need to lock it on gardenia. But as soon as it gets here, it needs to be locked on battalion. Well, um, I learned this great trip, trick many years ago from Aladdin at the Mr. Excel message board. We can use the lookup function. Now, lookup only does approximate match. Now, the thing about approximate match for lookup, vlookup, H lookup match. If the lookup value is bigger than anything in the column, it'll always get the last one. Now, we're going to use this column here because that's got our criteria. But check this out. We're going to use the big text concept. This is text, right? And I always want to get the last one as I copy it down. So I'm going to, in double quotes, use Z, 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 some text string that's going to be uh, alphabetically bigger than anything here. Now, that'll work fine, but so will, and I learned this from Hammy72, and I love this, the last letter in the Greek alphabet, you can see it down here, and the keyboard's a very strange keyboard. You have to hold down Alt the whole time, and then in succession hit 2, 3, 4, and it puts the last letter of the Greek alphabet. All right, so that's the lookup value. But what is the lookup vector? Well, check this out. We're going to use an expandable range, and that's it. That's not expandable until I lock the 4. I'm hitting the F4 key to put the dollar sign in front of the 4. This 4 did not have a dollar sign, so as we copy down, it'll go to 5, and then 6, and then 7. That is so cool. Control Enter and copy it down. So it's as if it's locked on that cell reference until it gets to here, and then it's locked on battalion. We'll use this inside our formula, because we weren't allowed to put it into this column. So we'll actually solve that problem by using this formula element. Now, when I come down here, you can see the range is expanding. That 6 is allowed to move, but that 4 is not. When we get here, the range has now got a new text element at the, at the very end, so it finds it because of that big text. All right, I'm going to copy this right here, Control-C. And now it's just a straight sum ifs with two criteria. The sum range, I'm trying to add units, F4 to lock it. The criteria range 1, let's do phone first. So the criteria range is all of the cells, F4. comma. The criteria says, hey, in that column, what are we looking for? We're looking for phone 1. That's a relative cell reference. comma. The second criteria range, all of the sales rep, F4. comma. And then criteria 2, Control V. Close parentheses, Control Enter. And we can copy it down. All righty, we'll see you next trick.